Hey everyone, this is Sapan Sharma here and this video is actually a part of my new course about film in PHP. So I recently added some new lectures to my course and thought of uh, sharing those lectures with you guys as well. So here on YouTube, so if you want to check out my new course then I'll be linking my course in the description below with a coupon code. So go ahead and check that out and along with that enjoy this video as well. So in the previous uh, video we worked on dealing with the PDF in filament panel and in this video we'll be working on uh, dealing with QR codes so I'll show you a simple demo about how we can display QR codes uh, in filament admin panel so for that I'm going to use this package so this is a QR code package for Laravel and let's go ahead to the documentation so I have opened up in a new tab and I'm gonna install this package first so let's go ahead and paste that command and hit, and hit enter and the next thing that i want to do is i'm going to create a new view page so in that view page we'll be displaying the qr for the specific user so the way we create a view page is by defining this command so the type is going to be view record for this resource and the name for the view so what we can do is we can again paste the command that we just copied and we can modify this thing so the name for the resource is student resource and this is gonna be view qr code make filament page view qr code resource is gonna be student resource type is gonna be view record so let's hit enter and that record is created successfully so we also need to register this thing in the git pages action so inside the student resource we have a get pages array so here the key is gonna be qr code and we can actually modify this thing so in this case it's uh, it's actually pages and view qr code the route is gonna be record slash qr code and everything else looks good so that is registered and we also need to add a new action so just like we have for the download pdf what i'll do is i'll just copy that action and name it view qr code the icon is gonna be hero icon i think it's called qr code and we are gonna pass in that record to the route so in this case it's gonna be we won't be using the route helper but we'll be using our this uh, student resource so we can find that in the documentation so to call that function what we can do is okay we don't have that in here so i think we have that inside okay let's search for custom pages i wanted to show you that section so the way we call that is by this key so we have that get pages function and then here we are returning this sort thing and to call that we use the resource and then get url with the key so we'll be using this thing here so student okay i think we can use the static function so static and what do we call it? so get url it's qr code in this case and we are gonna pass that record so this should work now and i don't want to open this in new url you can do that if you want to but since i've already demonstrated that in here so i'm gonna omit that for now so this should do the work and if we go ahead and check out our page so that's inside student resource view qr code so that's in here and i think we don't have that view page so this doesn't create a view page so we can actually create that ourselves so for that let's go to the resources views and let's create a new file inside element resources and the resource name is student resource and inside views i want to create that view file so view qr code dot blade dot php so now we can pass in that view file in here so if you go ahead and check out the view record we have a function we have a static variable called v 
view so we can override that in here and instead of this we can use this generated route so filament resources student resource pages and then view qr code okay we can actually do this thing so student resource and then pages and okay we can rename this thing to pages so instead of views let's name it pages and then view qr code so now this should work and we can actually use this uh, layout thing which is provided by filament so we have a layout called x x filament page and here whatever we pass in here will be displayed inside that filament admin layout so let's go ahead and test this thing in the students we should see that action so view qr code so that goes to as you can see in the bottom we have the address in rated so admin students one qr code if i click on it i should see a blank page with all the layouts displayed and this content should also be displayed so let's click on it and this seems to work so here we also have uh, an edit button and it took me some time to figure this thing this is, uh, there's no need resource about how do we deal with this thing so i did a bit of research and then finally found a way to get rid of all these so let's go ahead and check that out first and we'll work on this thing later so how do we edit or remove or add a new function in here so for that what we can do is since this thing this class is extending the view record so if you want to customize any behavior you can check the base class that is that this class is extending from and modify that accordingly so if you check out the view record then as you can see we have some function that we can override so it uh, uses fill form to fill the form and mutate data so we can override this thing so we also have a get actions array just like we have for the filament tables and forms and if we check out this function properly then as you can see we have this gets the resource and then if we if it doesn't have a page edit then it will just return an empty array and if the resource can be edited then or cannot be edited then in that case as well it will return an empty array otherwise it will return the get edit action so that is the reason why this thing is getting rendered in here so we can actually override this function so let's go ahead and do that in our view class so let's space that and what i want to do is instead of rendering all of these stuff i only want to return an empty array so that's going to remove our edit function so if you go ahead and reload then as you can see we don't have that edit button in here and the last thing that we need to work on is displaying the qr code and before that what i want to do what i want to do is i want to display that record that we get as a parameter so if we go ahead and reload and as you can see we get that record so now we can use this to dynamically generate the qr code so what i'll do is i'll just check out the documentation and i'll copy this thing and paste that in here so i want to display a size of 200 and instead of passing the request url what i want to do is i want to pass the record name so this way this thing is going to be dynamically generated and since i'm only showing you a way about how we can deal with uh, pdf or qr codes in laravel or filament php so for that i'm just uh, showing you a simple demo it's all up to you how do you want to use this so now if you go ahead and reload so we can see that qr code displayed in here so let's see if you get that dynamic value so depending on that name the qr code is being generated in here so that was a simple demonstration about dealing with qr codes in filament php in general so in the next part we will be looking at customizing the default behavior of the login page so instead of email address what we'll be doing is we'll be logging in the user with username or any other so so basically wanted to i uh, wanted to show you how we can customize this behavior of uh, filament php so this thing is not uh, generally covered anywhere so that's the reason i thought 
of doing that and you might need this in the future if you're building some projects so for that reason i'll be covering that as well and so that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one